Hello! Welcome to Game Boy for Gurkha Man. I'm Gurkha Man. This is the Simpsons game. And we're mm. going to Japan! Who's going to Japan with me? I yes. am. Yes, you are. <laughs> I am. <laughs> Sorry. Hi, everybody. It's Jess. I'm a mirror. Let's player and voice actor extraordinaire. I was waiting for you to say extraordinaire. I was hoping you would. Yes. Right. <laughs> Hello, everybody. This is uh, Mark, otherwise known as Thirteen. Oh. I am. Uh, I am an animator, and I animate, and uh, I also animate, and sometimes I animate. That's true. It does okay, animate sometimes. I mean, the what the fuck? <laughs> Yeah, it gets better. <laughs> this is actually the part of the game that I remember playing. Yay! Oh my! Because <laughs> my brother no. has the game. <laughs> why is Why is Milhouse the the, the Katamari King? King of the Cosmos. Why, why is he the King of Cosmos? Why? Because he's sad and weird. <laughs> I thought it was be Ralph. Casting. Should be Ralph. Yeah. Uh, I think Ralph is in this thing. Actually, I don't really remember. Oh dear. Uh, is, is this a... Are those jokes? Were those jokes? I couldn't hear him, so I don't know. Okay. Oh, um, bye! <laughs> see ya. Well, it's cutscene, I guess. <sighs> like, the flower- the flowers have happy faces. Oh, they look so fucking... Bullshit they, weeaboo in happy faces. <laughs> yeah, it's, why is it so hard for American artists to emulate, like, actual Japanese artists? Nah. I, I don't know. There's, plenty, so there's plenty of good ones on Tumblr. That's true. And granted, these are all actually probably animated by Koreans anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Koreans don't do anime, though. If you've ever seen Korean animation, it's pretty different. I'm pretty sure I see it in most of the American animation I watch. <laughs> I mean, like, proper Korean. Like, if you sit down with Hachi yeah. and Sispak, it's, uh... <gasps> Fish bulb! Yes, Mr. Sparkolo <laughs> is in this. <laughs> Greatest Simpsons character of all time. Yes. Mm. The, what was great about that episode is that the fish bulb thing was the B-plot. Yeah. I don't yeah. even remember. I've, I've, I, I don't even remember what the, uh, the A-plot was in that. <laughs> Actually, I don't remember either. Huh. Yep. Yeah, I didn't die there. What ended up happening was these guys are spawning from somewhere, and the game doesn't tell you that. So I was there for quite a long time, beating them up, wondering, <laughs> going just like, why there's so fucking many of these guys? And then I realized, oh, you have to. They're spawning. They're spawning, <laughs> and they're not spawning from somewhere obvious. They're spawning from up in those huts up on the sides. Oh. So you can't even like see where they're coming from straight away. This is like. Hey, he... hey it's Blinky. Yeah, Blinky's here too. It still show up from time to time in the series, wouldn't he? Sure. He would, yeah. That's how we know his name. I thought uh, that was from the second one where Blinky gets eaten. Oh wait, no, that um, was his introduction. He gets in the called... game, or no? In the in that episode that introduced Blinky, he he gets his name in the first like... episode. Oh, does he? Yeah. I always At thought the very that. End. Oh, okay. And Mr. Burns chooses yeah. to keep him as, like, a pet. But, okay, this is what you have to do. Yeah. <laughs> Showed up every so often, he would show up. And he made a, he made a, uh, he was in Futurama as a cameo. Oh, nice. Or at least a, a, a uh, a, uh, Blinky-esque character. Hmm. Fish. Oh, yeah, you wanted to hang around until the Futurama characters popped up in this, didn't you? That's oh not, yeah, that's, that's not right. too far away. Oh cool, yeah, yeah. This game gets ridiculously meta towards the end, which I guess works <laughs> because the whole game's been pretty meta, but it gets like r stupid, crazy meta. <laughs> it actually, looks like what? Uh, Don't say giant fun. sushi rolls and sumo wrestlers and yellow people. Oh god. I was going to talk about like the Simpsons yellow skin. I didn't mean that to be. Uh, that was accidentally racist. You heard it here I first. Mark is a racist. <laughs> didn't make the connection until halfway Mark. through the freaking. Uh, the, the, the what, what did you say, Mark? See, Mark was just big booty hose. 
<laughs> oh, you send all your hate to Mark at big uh, Mark at big booty hose. Gmail.com. <laughs> oh, fuck off. Oh my God, Lisa, Lisa, what's wrong with your face? <laughs> what's wrong with your oh, face? Shit. The Simpsons just never translated well into 3D. No. What do you think they did to this part when they when they brought the game over to Japan? <laughs> you think they translated it? Yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Sparkle is amazing. Look uh, how many sparkles he's got. There's like 50 of them. Yeah, there's a lot of sparkles. That sparkle effect that's in like fucking iMovie or some shit? I don't know. <laughs> you know the one I'm talking about though, right? Yeah, I know the one. It's the uh, yeah, fake that's... Tinkerbell. Yeah. That's exactly <laughs> sparkles. like. Oh look, we finally get our lava level. I was like, this platformer hasn't got a lava level. What's up with that? Oh, thank God. Yeah. Uh, oh. Because I guess you're going up Mount Fuji. No, it's a mountain. Is it Santa's little helper, or is it she's the fastest? I don't know. She's the fast. I can't lose. Look at its name. <laughs> she's the fastest. <laughs> Come. No, oh, that was Futurama. Come on, Lasty. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, that's pretty cool. How, look at the way that happened. That was good. Well, at least you got a uh, a thing for it. I did. I like the fact that it's achieve the game gives you achievements for dumb shit like that. It's it gives you it gives you achievements for cliches, and I, I, that's actually I like that. Yeah. That's not bad. That's that's taking advantage of the comic book guy, in in a clever way. Yeah. Oh. So how fun is it to pick things up? Uh. Well, you know, have you ever played 52 Pickup? Once. Yeah, it's a bit like that. But slower. <laughs> so it's, it's, it's about as fun. You did it again! <laughs> yeah. Holy crap! Yeah, spatial awareness, wonky You're... camera. I know you can't hear the sound effects, but she's actually drowning in the lava. Yeah. Yep. She's not <laughs> melting, she's drowning. Imagine swallowing a bunch of lava. That must feel really good. <laughs> no, I don't want to! Oh my god. You can only do it once. <laughs> <laughs> and shit's happening everywhere. Here comes Lisa. Oh boy. Yeah, see, oh, I've, I've edited Lisa. out a lot of these combat sequences because it's just like in tons and tons of those guys and they just keep coming yeah. and it's just like, oh, who cares? That isn't, mm -hmm. that isn't interesting. I know. Well, it's, it's what's happening yeah. in The Simpsons these days, Mark. You still watch it sometimes. No, I don't. Yeah, sure you I, do. I see, I see commercials, and then I'm like, that commercial wasn't funny. What's in the commercials these days? Can you tell us about those? I, I don't know. I haven't watched hear. Fox in a while. The last one I watched, I think, was like um, commercial for two two years ago, maybe for the Seance of Horror, and it was like it's, it's the complaint I had last time I was on here, where they explained the joke. Um, mm. and basically what they did is like, it's like Ned was turned, had like a chainsaw or something. He was like, you, he was, he was mad at Homer and he was like, you turned me into a homicidal maniac. And then Homer's like, oh, no. oh yeah, what you, you, what are you going to do about it? And then Ned's like, I'm going to kill you and revs up the chainsaw. And that's like, okay, it's lame, but it's a joke. I'll give it to them. And then it goes back to Homer and he's like, ah, I should have seen that coming. And I'm like, yeah, mm. that's the joke. I know. Oh, <clears throat> no. And then I just assume that most, if not all, of the Simpsons jokes are that kind of comedies now. You know? Oh, no. How sick was that level design? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> At least you have infinite lives. That's. Uh, have you tried <laughs> jumping? Uh, yeah, yeah, the jumping isn't as, uh, how would you say, responsive as you uh, might like. Have you tried jumping like Jesse Owens in the Olympics? Uh, I get Olympic jokes. Jesse Owens, um, because he kept getting called for faults on the, uh, the triple, no, the, the long jump, he basically drew a line in the sand before the line and then jumped <laughs> from there and won gold. That's pretty funny. Because you know the Nazis were like, "Hey, black people, let's not uh, let's not be nice to them." 
What is it with you? I showed, he still showed Hitler in his ugly mustachioed face. Oh, first, you're, first you're talking about yellow people, now you're talking about black people. You're just full of hate, Mark. I was supporting Jesse Owens, and I was mad at Hitler. What the hell? <laughs> Why do you hate the Germans so much, Mark? Why First, is okay, Hitler mistake? was Austrian. Mm -hmm. You should know that. Because Whoa. you're a Hitler! <laughs> what? I'm a Hitler. Not the Hitler. You are a Hitler. I'm a friend. Oh, I had to try to work <laughs> out this puzzle. I don't know. I already forgot. Oh, yeah. You freeze the guys and then yes. dump them into the lava. For some reason, they don't melt. Well, it's, um, it's carbonite. No, it's ice. No, it's it's carbonite. It's ice. I said it in the tutorial when I got the power. I said this is ice. It's carbonite. It's most definitely not Let carbonite. Let me have this, God! No offense, Mr. Simpson, but I'm gonna destroy you. Sorry. It's carbonite won't fix anything. <laughs> Make me feel better. <laughs> no. Better. <laughs> oh look, it's Jimbo Jones. Time for a battle. Oh my God. Oh, yeah. uh, it doesn't have like a cheesy Jap <laughs> like J-pop song, though. Yeah, it is, it is missing a crazy J-pop song. That would have been great. This is actually a decent UI. They did something in the game that's decent, even though it's stupid. Yep. And he's immune to lightning, just like Pikachu. Uh. He's immune to poison. Nothing like Pikachu. <laughs> It's a really creepy looking design, I gotta say. Yeah, seriously. Yeah. Well, they, very uncomfortable. They could have done something better. I do like the fact that out of all the JRPGs they could have chosen the parody, they chose Pokemon. You know, the most Americanized one. Yeah. yeah. Most recognized. Oh, look, there's the pig from the pig. movie. Uh, oh, oh! There's the. Yummy. Harry Plopper, no! <laughs> Don't make me laugh at the Simpsons. How dare you do that? Mm -hmm. Oh, Jimbo. Yeah. He's so mad. Yeah. I wish Mr. Sparkle would just appear <laughs> after I just achieved like really little mundane things. <laughs> Don't get that too great. Cocky, warriors. Oh, congratulations. You have done the learn. <laughs> Uh, Shut up, Millhouse! You something. haven't been yeah. funny since Radioactive Man. <laughs> no, he's been oh. funny after that. But... He's been funny well after that. <laughs> Your idea. I, lo just... I love Millhouse. He's my favorite <laughs> character. <laughs> even more than Cletus, the slack-jawed yokel? Yeah, Cletus never said, My mom thinks I'm cool. <laughs> <laughs> no, Cletus said, the, Hey, mom, the get off the dang roof! roof. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> it even let me enter my name. Thrill House. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> it just said Thrill Hawk. <laughs> I'm not a nerd. Nerds are smart. <laughs> <laughs> Mel House is wonderful. Oh, yeah, the ice world. This yeah. one is annoying because this is where the precision platforming came into play that wasn't very good. Ugh. Oh, ice. Just punch things. There's no ice physics. You found another cliche. Do not steal no from ice physics here. Uh, okay. What was the achievement for? I missed it. Oh, for uh, elemental enemies. Oh. Ah! Uh... Uh... Oh yeah, you're supposed to be using that thing to like solve a puzzle, but then you can't stop these guys from spawning because they spawn from in the fucking water. Oh, okay. Maybe the Simpsons should just stick to making the Simpsons. Actually, no, oh. that's a horrible idea. Yeah, maybe I should just <laughs> quit. Should have quit while our head like Seinfeld did. Oh. Seinfeld, oh, great show. Wonderful show. Mm. There was never a terrible Seinfeld game. Oh well, yeah, you have to try been. to make your way across that. It took me a whole, like it literally runs out at just that moment. So you... Ha and if you don't make it, you have to go all the way across. I spent 40 minutes trying to make that, and there were times where I almost made it, and it just ran out. Oh, <coughs> God, it was so frustrating. Uh, I got there eventually. There you go. And we didn't have to watch it, so that made me happy. Mm -hmm. I like the frozen Godzilla in the background. Yeah. Nice touch. 
Have you seen the trailer for the new Godzilla movie, Mike? I have not yet, I really should. It looks really good. It's by the guy that did Monsters. He's gone Mon from directing a science fiction film for $20,000 to something that's probably $200 million. Huh, well... I would definitely, if you haven't seen Monsters, definitely check it out. This guy uh, went out and filmed everything with this, with just two actors, and then he took all the footage home and did all the visual effects himself on his home computer and actually huh. made a uh, quite a decent film out of it. Well, that's, that's pretty good. Yeah. Not a bad film. Oh, look, it's this puzzle again. Collect three things and put them in the mm. holes. At least they're not right next to the thing anymore. See, a smart person would have done the furthest one first. Yeah. 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 Is that right? Well, it just so happens that I'm not a smart person. Nope. I, I even question the whole person part. <laughs> God, that's so fucking annoying. The way they um keep showing up while you're trying to do the... F like, I don't know whose idea that was, but they shouldn't have had it. Maybe there was a way to stop them. Did you ever think of that? There isn't, I looked it up, because I thought there's something's oh. going wrong. That can't huh. be how the game's designed, because that's retarded. It's, uh, that's how they designed it, you know that's why? That's how they designed it. Because why not? EA. Because EA. <sighs> it's in the game! <laughs> EA Sports! In the game! In the game! In the game! Do you, do you remember any EA Sports games that you actually liked, Buck? Um, I played, I had the Madden 90... Was it 94? Oh, that was the Genesis one. No, I have one for the Super Nintendo. Oh, okay. Um, it was good back in the day. I didn't play too many sports games. I remember playing an old soccer to... game on the NES, which was great because all you had to do when the when the Yippee! was run straight, and because they would always do that thing where they kick the ball forward and then they, the other side kicks it back. But if you ran straight, you ran right into the ball and would get it nope, every time. Great game. Great yeah. game. <laughs> clearly, clearly the greatest um, sports game of all time was Tecmo Bowl. Even more than Blitz? Ooh, Blitz was pretty awesome. Oh, yeah. oh look, he pooped. Yeah. LOL. Uh, it's maybe it's think, Ralph. Maybe think Simpsons would go down to poop jokes. Well, it's a Ralph joke. Ralph might poop. Everybody yeah. poops, Mark. I know, um, that's, um... Jess, do you poop? I was gonna say that I remember a um, EA Sports game that I thoroughly enjoyed. Oh yes, what what was it? Uh, Tiger Woods PGA Tour 2005 or whatever year it was. I played was that, that, that game. Was that the one that came out on Wii? Which... On the GameCube. Oh wow. I've never been able to get into golf games, although I did enjoy Wii Sports Golf. Best golf game, I think, is the original NES Open, where you can play as Mario and Luigi. Love that. It's not the best golf game. I love it. You know what Shut the best up. golf game is? The best golf game is real golf. Nah, it's definitely Beavis and Butthead a bunghole in one. What about golf on the Virtual Boy? It was golf in 3D. <laughs> I remember right. a friend of mine had tennis on his Game Boy. That was a timeless classic. Uh, so well, they had Mario Tennis on Virtual Boy, and you played tennis. Mario Tennis is fun, but it's not really a sports not, game. It's not a Mario's game. Tennis. The original oh. Mario Tennis. Yeah, is that Mario Mario's Tennis? tennis? One, I have Mario yeah, Tennis on the, the one, the one on Virtual. I'm sorry, the one mm. on Virtual Boy is Mario's Tennis. The one on N64 is Mario Tennis. Mario's yeah, Tennis is more or less just a tennis game. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you, Jess. No, 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 it's okay. I said I didn't mean to interrupt you, Jess. It's okay. I didn't mean to interrupt you, Jess. Oh, boy. I do remember, like, tennis on Game Boy, Mario was the umpire, but I guess he was the umpire in a lot of games back in those days. Uh, Punch-Out. Yeah. Mike Tyson's Did anyone... Uh, did you play the Wii Punch-Out game? That looked really good, and I never nope. got a, I've never oh, seen a copy it. in the wild. I mean, why would you do that? You can just play the original. If it doesn't have Mike Tyson thing. on it, I mean, I know Mike Tyson did some things, but... I mean, the game... It's still amazing. Yeah, I've got the game on my 3DS. But it's not yeah. Mike Tyson's Punch Out. It's just Punch Out because yeah, you know it's just Punch Out. nobody wants to use Mike Tyson in a freaking video game anymore. Oh, because the license yeah. expired. Well, that and the whole you know went to jail for certain things. Mm. It's not not very family friendly anymore. I think the Did last. 
was during Charlie Sheen's roast. And that was... You're right! He was... Yeah, Jesus. It was bizarre! I don't know what that is. Well, they have a it's roast where they just make... I'm sorry, go ahead, Jess. Yeah, basically, there's like one celebrity that they get, and then they get a whole bunch of other celebrities to make fun of this one celebrity. And so it's between it's between two ferns with more than one guy. <laughs> well, no, because like they go up one at a time. Oh, okay. Yeah. And they just fucking like yeah. oh, they they roast them. That's the point. And then yeah. at the very end, the celebrity who's being roasted gets up and he says a little thing about everybody else. Yeah. The um. There was one on the Shatter one was really good. I still Mick haven't seen that one. Oh my god, that one's great because um, uh, he comes at the beginning. He comes in on a white horse, and then when George Takei comes up, he uh, he, he his last little joke, and I'm gonna spoil it. The last joke was like, "I can finally say this after so many years. Fuck you and the horse you rode in on." Uh, <laughs> oh, that is beautiful. <laughs> That's brilliant. Love oh George my Takei. God. This is the largest sky ever. Seriously, it's, yeah, it's been going up this, forever. Yeah. This, you can see that little thing on the side there. Um, that's how much further we have to go. Yeah. Oh. So basically, what you have to do is you have to keep running around and keep hitting those switches because the sumos keep um, turning the switches off. Oh, no. You have to keep turning them back on again so that you can keep the ship going up. And that's that's all this is. That is shitty. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty fucking lame. You're supposed to have like a um a, a, a thing like <laughs> supposed to have a thing like this when um when you don't have enemies that are you know this is supposed to, you're supposed to be able to learn how to defeat the enemies quickly and then you use this as a test for that. Since every other instance of these enemies showing up is the exact same thing, this does nothing. Mm -hmm. You say that you don't want to just fight the same enemies over and over again for an hour. Is that what you're saying? Not, not only that, but just that it, if that's all that these enemies have been doing, every other time you find them is just that. I like the way they constantly knock you off the edges too because yeah. they're fucking fat bastards. And just At <laughs> least <laughs> the off. ship doesn't like go back down to... Oh, that would have just made me like throw the disc out the window. So here's something to talk about. How do we, um... How do you... What do you think makes a game hard but fun, as opposed to hard but an and annoying? Why is, battle why is Battletoads extremely difficult, but you're like, I'm gonna can do this? Because it and... has a rewarding combat system, a satisfying combat system. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But what makes it satisfying? It's just, it's, they're just fun mechanics. Yeah. That's why everyone loves Dark Souls as well, like... It's, it's fucking brutally difficult, but you never feel like... Yeah. Like, I felt like I was falling off the edge because those car those enemies are shit. Mm. And that it was happening. In Dark yeah. Souls, every time you die, it's because you weren't you good up. enough. And yeah, and the, con the game like constantly makes it feel like this was your fault, not mine. Just saying. Yeah. And because of that, it's kind of like when you do finally do it, it's satisfying. But when you're fighting against the game in a way where the game seems cheap or unfair or broken, mm -hmm. there's no satisfaction. It's just kind of like a, thank fuck, I'm done with that yeah. shit. And there's no satisfaction in that. It's just yeah. kind of a... Well, let's take a look at, um, uh, like, the Super Star Wars games. Those games were, were great, and they were hard, and they were unfair. Even, yeah. they, but they were still felt like kind of rewarding because I, I don't know and uh, why why were those games unfair but fun but other games unfair but well, not fun I think I think there's a difference between like relentless and yeah. this just is relentless cheap. like yeah like this is relentless and cheap yeah you know what I mean like there's no excuse for it there's no reason why it yeah. should be this way with, I guess with I know with like Super Star Wars sometimes you you you're going around like the maze like on the sand crawler and you'd you'd fall down in a pit you haven't seen before and you you hit spikes or whatever and there's almost no way of knowing that beforehand but it still doesn't like bother you as much it's I don't know it's mm. just weird I think the other thing about Super Star Wars too is it's the levels are short so yeah you don't have to go through a lot to get back to where you were yeah. 
maybe? I don't know. I, I, I did get frustrated with Super Star Wars and stopped playing. But I will be doing <laughs> it for this show, but I will be playing them with uh, Game Genie for Infinite Lives, because fuck that game. <laughs> we'd, ne we'd never see the end of it if I played it any other way. I don't know anyone who's ever finished any of those three games. <laughs> yep, like, I don't did know. you ever finish any of them, Mark? No, I don't. We ended up just using passwords so we could, uh... Hey, it's, um, Linguo. Linguistic Robot. What, what episode was he in? He was in oh the tr God. Trilogy of Error. Oh. It was three episodes, three, three interlock interconnected short stories, uh... Taking over the same courses of a day from three different three different uh, points of view, Frankie Munez guested, and uh, that was Linguo the linguistic robot. There you go. You learn something new every day, kids. No, 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 that actually was that was that was one of the later episodes that was still pretty good. That was still a decent episode. Well, we saved the day. Uh, uh, uh. When I think of Japan, I think uh, of poop. You don't think of a used panties in um in a uh, vending machine? I think used panties in a vending machine is dirtier than this toilet in this game could ever be. Mm. Strange, strange place and people. Hey, he's not 3D, Mr. Sparkle. Hey. Okay. I guess he's just Mr. Sparkle, but it's funner to say it the way he says it. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, he's gonna clean up the town. Uh, I'm so did, excited. Did you know that Homer's hair and ear on the side makes an M and a G for Matt Groening? Matt Groening? Yep. Yeah. I had no idea since I was a kid. <laughs> That's still not as good a trivia as my March's Bunny Ears trivia. I'll, g I'll give you trivia. Um, did you know... No, it's, uh, um, uh, uh, yes. <laughs> Why does Jimbo have a weird lump in the back of his neck? Because probably get that checked, buddy. Anyway, <laughs> thanks, Mark. Thanks, Jess, for joining us on this adventure through the Simpsons' horrible interpretation of Japanese culture. Uh, join us next week as we venture into Grand Theft Scratchy. Oh, God. Guess what that's parroting. But on the upside, we finally get the return of Poochie. Yay! Yay. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm asleep now. My plan is <laughs> <hates> me. <laughs>